software and the camera license plate recognition, recognition and integration, camera going on sales, uh, also the uh, also the unit's uh, access control, uh, video verification access control together with biometrics, Thanks for coming. Um, again, David expressed that we are a DVR manufacturer and software manufacturer, computer service manufacturer. Uh, the people here, who has used or installed you before? Let's see what's happening. Okay, who's used our NVR before? NVR, okay, and who's never used you? Okay, so we got a couple in here. Great. Well, um, as we for a DVR card, Component and accessory manufacturer also create our own NVR software and we also create the NVR servers. Now, what we expect or we, what we want you guys to walk away with today is a better knowledge of uh, our product and our experiences. We want you to become familiar with our products and uh, we want you to walk away with a better understanding of how you can provide solutions for your clients. And remember, or try to remember the word dynamic because I've been using it a lot and I see it as being flexible. Uh, product is very versatile for any kind of market. Okay, uh, what does fleet mean to you? Basically, uh, some people build their businesses around a certain product and find customers to purchase them. Now, we believe that our product is dynamic and accessible <coughs> to any customer's needs, and basically this means that any customer you need, every customer could potentially, could potentially be your customer. Okay? And here's today's agenda. I'm going to be bringing it two parts. Part one will be the scheduling system. This is everything you get with four of our DDR cards, our DDR softwares, our servers. It's all in one big package. And then there's part two, which is expanding the product. Now, the scheduling system comprises uh, of the hybrid system, our ID cameras, analytics, and the scan. And expanding the product, we'll be talking about our new servers, our compact cameras, central monitoring software, our POS, license plate, access control, and So the hybrid system is comprised of the DVR and the NVR. I'm going to talk a little bit about why the industry is moving towards IP, or IP and NVR and how that works to you. We're going to talk about our IP cameras as well as third-party IP cameras. We're going to talk a lot about analytics, which is what your customers are really looking for, because these are the products that are going to become their cloud solutions, basically. We're going to and then we'll talk about web access and web cam. So the GB DVR is a hardware driven system. You can connect your analog cameras to it, you all play out with these, these products before. The Jewish NVR is a software driven product. Basically, as uh, Bill pointed out, it's all IP. All you need to do is connect your GB IP cameras to it and or your third party IP cameras. Okay? And then our hybrid system is a marriage of both. You have hardware as well as IP. Now let's talk about the similarities and as well as the differences. Our GD, DDR servers and NVR servers have up to 32 channels per server. We have full use of all the analytics. It doesn't come in packages. You basically you buy one product, you get all the analytics together. And you can integrate both the DDR and NVR with all of our accessories and components. Uh, the difference primarily is the wiring of these products. Now if you're using analog cameras, it's standard VNC wiring, you have the power cable as well. But IP devices are primarily powered over the unit, so it's a lot simpler, a lot cleaner, and you get a higher resolution for these cameras as well. 
basically, uh, if you've ever used our GeoVision DVR system, you're pretty much ready to use it in VR because it has the same look and feel, has the same setup, has the same functions, because primarily it's the same software, and we've de been developing the software for the past decade or so. So it's been fully developed, it's been it's pretty mature. So what you're getting with the DVR is what you're getting with the DVR, okay? Um, now, what we want you to walk away about, or walk away with regards to NVR, is that uh, we have a few key points compared to other products in the market right now, which is that our software is perpetual, it never expires, and basically there are no monthly, quarterly, or yearly uh, upkeep or maintenance fees. It's a one time purchase, basically. And you also get free software updates. We're coming on version 8.31, so if you ever have a new version, let's say 8.4, with new analytics or new product enhancements, you'll also get those upgrades for free. And uh, let's say you also have the ability to ch expand the channels electronically because maybe some customers may have a small installation of a couple of channels, and you can expand it electronically to maybe 32 channels or even more of this intermodular station. And this NVR also includes 10 or more, uh, more than 10 actually, uh, very powerful analytics, and they're all free of charge. Again, I'd like to emphasize that our product is also catered to the, uh, the customer's needs. Basically, you can also grow with this product and expand to any price level integration. And again, these products are uh, integrated over their video servers, um, DVRs, central monitoring, POS, and other uh, analytics and components. And this is an open platform software, which means we'll be adding more and more to it as we uh, expand the product. Here's uh, an example of a case study basically of how a customer has expanded uh, a small installation into a, a larger enterprise level installation. It was a small freight forwarding company, okay, and they've expanded it to maybe a 60,000 square feet facility, and since then they've integrated more than 100 IP cameras, and they've also integrated different products such as our NVR uh, server, as their recognition has to So it started off with being a DVR and introduced it to a lot they start using one DVR servers, and then they've expanded the product, okay? Let's talk about uh, some more G IP cameras. The first one on the top is our box camera. It allows you to use uh, special lenses, a uh, wide-angle lens or fisheye lens, and this is primarily for your use. And the one on the right, on the top right, is our very focal camera. It's a 3.3 to 12 millimeter lens camera, coming up right here, use as well. The bottom left one is a mini fixed drone. It's a smaller compact low profile camera, primarily for mobile solutions. And the one next to it is Big Brother, a camera drone camera. It's one of them. Ideal for outdoor use because it has an ID rating of 60. Did you have a question? Yeah. Well, what's your average change size on, on those? I mean, is, is it motion based? Is any other motion based? I mean, you're just trying to get an idea of what the average stream size of those video cameras are. Well, let me get to that. And that's the data proof dome camera. It's um, again ideal for outdoor use. There's uh, it's also time proof, but it, let's say you need something like uh, speed domes or IBPs and PTZ uh, PTZ dome cameras. We also have those coming out in the next couple of stuff. And these are 18, 23 to 36 optical zoom, as well as 360 uh, handheld zoom. And you know, this is a new product we're coming out pretty soon, so uh, I guess you can ask uh, Richard about it. Uh, all of our cameras are dual stream, one for recording and one for viewing, and these are 1.3 megapixel cameras. Uh, standard, that's what we believe to be the standard manageable size resolution for the industry right now. There's a lot of networks right now are still maybe 100 instead of gigabyte, and so this is a more realistic resolution for most of your customers. All of our cameras can usually suffice for what your customers need, but if let's say you need something with a higher resolution, you can also go with third party IP cameras. And these are the brands that we currently support and have extensively tested in the product, which means we have full functionality of all those little features each camera has. Basically, if you have a higher resolution or a higher frame rate, we would support it with our software. We've got AirCut, Vision, Sony, Pocono, all the <coughs> brands that are interesting. 